Working in a team as a nursing student is one of the vital preparations to overcome real-life crucial situations that are most often happening in the healthcare field. Thus, becoming a competent nurse that knows how to be a team player along with the rest of the healthcare team. In the University of St. LaSalle, the College of Nursing Department utilizes case studies as a major group activity for nursing students to enhance their critical thinking skills as well as their communication skills and teamwork ethic in preparation to a field that requires a lot of communication. This then prompts us to question, do nursing students have that team effectiveness that tells you that they are more than ready to be part of the healthcare team? A pleasant day to everyone. I am Julie Therese Galang and together with me are my research group mates Chin Chin Gohi, Jerome Gonzalez, Ana May Jose, and Denzel Oriano. And today, we are going to be discussing our research study entitled Level of Team Effectiveness Among Nursing Students in Nursing Case Studies. It is believed that there is a recipe for a team to be able to successfully achieve their desired goal through having a high level of team effectiveness, which is the capacity of the team to achieve a shared goal. With the eight factors of team effectiveness created by the London Leadership Academy in the name of intergroup relations, passion and commitment, problem solving, purpose and goals, roles, skills and learning, team processes and team relationships, it is said that a team will flourish and excel. Because of this, this prompted us to discover the level of team effectiveness of nursing students doing their nursing case studies according to the eight factors. We wanted to find out if the utilization of case study as an academic activity is an effective learning method that enhances the students' teamwork skills and learning, as well as determine if the level four nursing students are prepared for their future employed field of work. Moving on to research design, a quantitative descriptive research design was utilized to determine and describe the level of team effectiveness among level four nursing students to the profile variables using a quantitative approach. It is an approach method on which we attempted to acquire measurable data for statistical analysis suited for an entire population as opposed to a sample population. Researchers used total enumeration for the study's total population sample. There are a total of 178 level 4 nursing students from the University of St. LaSalle in the academic year 2021 to 2022. Out of the 178 level 4 nursing students, 172 students participated in the study with an attrition rate of 3.43%. The group chose level 4 nursing students because they are the most suitable for the study since they have gained experience in making nursing case studies within their respective RLE groups. These nursing students have been exposed to working together and have gained knowledge about the personalities of their group members, as well as to working individually in order to complete tasks. Moving on to the instrument, modified standardized questionnaire entitled Team Effectiveness Questionnaire was utilized with an approval from the London Leadership Academy National Health Services. The questionnaire had three parts. Part one gathered the data regarding the level four nursing students' demographic profiles that includes their sex, section, and RLE groups. Part two examined the team effectiveness from the perspective of eight factors. And part three included the experience of the participants regarding their groups, such as the challenges they experience and their recommendations on how to improve their team effectiveness. The instrument was validated using Gooden's case that was adapted from RMF or the CADO. The following validators were Dr. Leslie Young, Ms. Sarah Jane Salas, and Mr. O.J. Jimenez. The average score for the instrument was 4.8, indicating that the questionnaire had a very good validity. Cronbach's Alpha was used to test the reliability of the instrument, which procured an overall result of 0.98, indicating a high level of internal consistency, which means the instrument use has an excellent level of reliability. The results of our study includes finding the demographic profile of our participants. So it has found out that most of our participants are females and majority of the participants who answered are coming from early groups number one and two and mostly coming from sections A and B. So the demographic profile was necessary to determine the team composition of the groups and its relation to the eight factors of team effectiveness. So it is said by Hujin Dorn in 2013 that teams with mixed genders are more egalitarian. So the next table shows that the level of team effectiveness among the participants according to sex. In this table, it presented that female participants have a slightly better level of team effectiveness in all eight factors as compared to male participants. When grouped according to section, it is presented that all sections of level four nursing students have resulted in a very high level of team effectiveness in each factor. This also goes the same when grouped according to early groupings. However, Little room of improvement is to be done under the factor of problem solving. Overall, this part of results implies that each group has a member that are compatible with each other, 
Thus, they were able to work together effectively. The next table represents the consolidated responses in regards to team conflict experiences. It is found that out that half of the students participated encountered some difficulties within their group members, wherein the highest rank of responses coming from the participants said that some members are not doing their part nor have had any contributions, followed by poor time management and miscommunication. The last table presents the recommendations provided by the students to improve the team effectiveness of the team. The response with the highest rank have stated that activities that enhance an open, effective, and proper communication can improve the team effectiveness of the group. This is to be followed by good time management and equal delegation of tasks. This implies that most group members of each RLE group wanted everyone to voice out their concerns, to listen, and to understand each other while doing their nursing case study. After the data has been collected, analyzed, and presented, there are conclusions that were drawn. One of the conclusions that the study draws is that the nursing students doing their nursing case study have shown high levels of team effectiveness in sex, section, and RLE group. So this means that they are students who have attained the skills of team players, and therefore they are ready to take on more challenges that require teamwork. Majority of the nursing students are satisfied with their group. However, statements that show lack of workmanship and other consolidated comments from other team members should not be disregarded and should be considered to further improve the team effectiveness of each group. So the RLE groupings in alphabetical order and the utilization of the case study as a group activity are deemed as effective methods in creating nursing teams that work together effectively. Recommendations for future researchers. Aside from nursing case study, consider other group works that are being conducted by the nursing students to explore the range of skills the nursing students have in other group works. Also determine exactly how nursing students communicate with one another to determine how they were able to achieve a high level of team effectiveness. For clinical instructors and university administrators, conduct a scheduled meeting after a group activity to assess the team's peer evaluation. Also continue implementing nursing case study as a group activity, as it is now evident in the results that it makes student nurses work together. Also implement activities that focuses on factors of team effectiveness that needs improvement and also implement activities that center on enhancing communication skills. For nursing students, take initiative to communicate with the group members and clinical instructors regarding any concerns and clarifications. Also practice the eight factors of team effectiveness. And also identify and focus on the factors of team effectiveness that needs improvement. Please scan the QR code found on the side of the poster to view our references. Together we can achieve more. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening and we hope that you were able to learn and take some key points about how to be a better team player in your desired field. Thank you.